and welcome to my crazy greenhouse. I wanted to show you some of the cacti that I've been growing from seed and grafting onto different understocks. I've always really loved cacti. When I was probably 10 or 12 years old, I started collecting them when I lived in Ireland. Now I live in California. I haven't grown cacti in many years, but in the last two or three years, I've gotten interested in them again. So this winter, I planted a lot of seeds in the inside, uh, in the garage, and I planted them underneath fluorescent lights. And I have another video that I've showed you before about how to do that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you what they look like when you plant, put them out in the greenhouse and how big they've gotten. So let's take a look. All right, so here's some seedlings that I grafted onto this understock called Perez Chiopsis. It's a very easy to grow jungly cactus. It has leaves, the thing with the big leaves here at the bottom, see those? And what I do is I graft a tiny seedling cactus onto the top of that while they're still indoors. Now they've been brought out into the greenhouse. But I've got lots of different sorts of, uh, of cacti here. This is a group of uh, Echinopsis hybrids. They were hybridized by Mary Killen in Southern California. It's killencactus.com if you want to check her wonderful seed list out. And uh, I have some other nice plants here that I got from C&D Cactus. Uh, these are seedlings of Fralia. And then there's some uh, Echinop uh, Echinocerius in the foreground. Echinocerius Reichenbachii perbellus. And then I have some Echinocerius some more Echinocerius. They have wonderful purple flowers. This little guy here is one of those um, strange astrophytums that has the long fingers. It's called Digitostigma, or it's also called um, Astrophytum caput medusae, the medusa's head astrophytum. These guys here are hybrid Echinopsis again from Mary Killen. I really like these. They're going to be hopefully wonderful colors and they should flower in another year. They're probably not going to flower this year, even though they're about an inch and a half across now, some of these. Uh, right at the back here, I've got some Echinocerius. Um, this is one called um, Echinocerius rigidissimus, uh, rubri spinous. It gets pinkish spines a little bit later. Down the front here, then, I've got uh, Ariocarpus. Now, they are wonderful cacti. They're quite um, slow to grow, and you can see they're... But um, having been planted in October, these have now gotten to about... Uh, three quarters of an inch across. And there's a number of different species here. The unfortunate thing about Ariocarpus is they, if you were to grow them on their own roots, they develop a big fat tap root. And if you graft them onto these um, Paraschiopsis, then they never develop that tap root. Even if you degraft them and try and root them, they'll never make a tap root. So you have to graft them onto another fatter understock, perhaps something like Trichocereus later on. Anyhow, over here, there's some more Neoporterias and some more of those Echinopsis hybrids. And then over here, I've gotten some Trichocereus, which are like very tall columnar Echinopsis. And they um, are, there are wonderful hybrids of these that are supplied by Misplant. That's the name of the company. It's a guy in Southern California and their website is misplant.net. Check them out for amazing hybrids and they'll grow really quite well in, if your garden doesn't get too cold, you can grow them outside and they'll get to 15 feet tall, no problem. In case you get tired of cacti, I also grow delphiniums and lots of other things. There's some more of those trichocereus. They get a little leggy on that understock and that's why they have to be brought out into the greenhouse. Yeah, so that's what's going on on this side. And then over here, I've got um, some other somewhat larger Echinopsis that were from offsets, like little side shoots that came off that I grafted onto these things in probably October. Some more Trichocereus there. Has it done well? And they'll be degrafted and just rooted onto their own roots in another month or so. In this part of the greenhouse, I've got all sorts of cacti that I started last year. I've really only been doing cacti for a couple of years, two or three years. Most of these are grown from seeds or from little grafts. Anyway, that's another story. Anyway, hope you liked seeing all these cacti. It's been fun showing you around and I look forward to seeing you again.